Hi guys, welcome to uh, a new video. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. This is not a derma roller update. It's I'm trying a new treatment. Well, it's not really new. It's probably been around for a long time, but I've only just discovered it. And I'm sure when you see the title, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to be talking about hydrogen peroxide. Now, I'm not sure too much about this, but I know it's good for healing cuts and scars and uh, bits and bobs like that. Um, from what I've read up, it's... People have used it and then the next day they've cleared their blackheads, their scars have not healed up but look look better and it gets rid of spots, pimples and other bits and bobs. Now I've been using it for the past week, as you can see a um, bit of the bottle's gone. Uh, uh, it, it sort of has worked, it's got rid of blackheads quite well actually. Uh, spots, it, it sort of fades the spots but they come back but that's just my skin so it sort of does work with um, with spots so it's all good news there uh, I'm just going to prop this here, I don't know how that looks, I don't know where I am on the camera uh, I'm going to show how it works and what you need for this you're going to need hydrogen peroxide um, hydrogen peroxide, I don't know if you can see that hydrogen peroxide solution 3% make sure you get the 3% because 3% is the weakest one, you can get 6 but I wouldn't recommend it um, yeah, and it says on it, mild, mild skin disinfecting, mouthwash and gargle, so it can be used in the mouth, so if it can be used in the mouth, it can be used on your skin. Um, obviously it says here, do not, um, on normal skin, do not use medica uh, medication on normal skin or eyes, or closed body cavities and large deep cavities or wounds. So, so if you have any deep wounds, obviously don't use it, but... I don't see the problem. If if it can heal, if it's for disinfectant, why is it telling not to use it? So it's kind of contradicted itself. But I've looked online and nearly five stars on this product for skin treatment. And what else you're going to need? You're going to need some cotton pads or buds or whatever you use. Uh, you just put some. And oh no! Before I start there, you need also uh, moisturizer. Definitely 100% moisturizer because it does dry up the skin, not so much, but it does make your skin feel dry at the moment, it feels dry. Um, you need something with vitamin E. Now I've got this Palmer's Cocoa Butter formula, but it's for the face, it's more of a solid butter form, and it it feels really, feels so good on skin. So, some people find it oily, or you can use a different product. Anything with vitamin E or A, or vitamin A, E and A, because it's good for skin um, collagen reproduction in the skin, which helps build new skin. Uh, so what you do is, you take a cotton bud, I won't show you now, but you take a cotton bud, you put some, you just put it on top, just shake it, you get it up on the cotton bud, and just wipe it all over, or you can just wipe it on the spots itself, so, so if you don't want to get it all over your face, if it's just, just put it on the spots, dab, 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 let it to dry for about two minutes, three minutes, then go wash it off, that's what I do, I wash it off with warm water, pat, pat dry, then I put apply the, the moisturiser, and then... It's all good. It, it it sort of makes your skin feel fresh. Um, at the moment, for some reason, I've got these spots, but they won't go away. This this thing won't kill it, but it does sort of work. It this faded, it went, and then it come back, and then this went and come back, and that's just probably my skin. Um, yeah, so definitely check out hydrogen peroxide. Make sure it's three percent, and you can buy it over the counter. It's over the counter. I got this for. Uh, it says on it one pound five. One pound five for a bottle like this. It's this can last ages. It's so cheap. I asked in Boots and other like I got this in Tesco pharmacy. Uh, most pharmaceutical places do it, and I don't know. I got funny looks when I asked in one of the shops. I went, "Oh, can I have hydrogen peroxide?" They were like, "Uh, like, why do you want hydrogen peroxide for?" I was like, "Wipe on my skin." But I didn't say that. I just said, "Well, they didn't really ask, but they, that's what the look was." Um, um, that's it really for this video. Um. If you're going to try this out, please leave a comment below. Let me know if you're going to make a video about it or how your treatment's going with hydrogen peroxide. Um, I'm really looking into doing laser treatment for my scars because I can't even look at myself in the mirror. I can barely do this video, let alone do anything. I just, I can't, I, my, my skin's not as bad as it used to be. If you look at th uh, videos from like four years ago, from 2010 when I had acne, you know, sometimes I... I tear up just watching them, thinking the pain I went through. It's you know it's weird because when you're during the uh, during the process of having acne, you don't feel the pain. 
or well, you feel the pain, but you don't see you don't see how severe it was until you, you get better and then you look back and you're like, Whoa, I recovered from that. So I have definitely got more confidence and more I've got more attitude. Um I used to be if you look at the other it's quite quiet, but now I've really, really rebellious and quiet attitude, but I still have that moment of weakness which I think everyone gets, but with me it's with acne sufferers it, it always, and scar sufferers, you it, it does stick with you for life. And I can I do continue to do derma roller. And on other note, I'm sure you've noticed my room has changed. It's just changed. Uh, I have a nice brick wallpaper. It's wallpaper, but it's painted black and a blue ceiling. Uh, not many people get to see my room. So I move my desk around. Let it focus. Take your time. Yeah, it's quite plain, Jane. And I did the chimney the same way with brick wallpaper. So it's just chimney part. Uh, and the blue roof. Everyone, everyone, blue ceiling. Sorry, everyone's like, "Why you got a blue ceiling?" I was like, "It's weird." And I was like, "I don't know. It's just something different." And I like it. It makes good for. Cause I'm a photographer. It makes good for backgrounds. And I don't know if you can see it in this, but it makes good for backgrounds. So, thank you for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button. Share this video. Do whatever you can to get this message out because. I really want to help people that suffer. So if you're, if you need anyone to talk to, message me here, or you can contact me from my Twitter, which is at David Yichia. Just hit a, I'll put a link down in the com comments, or you can hit me up on Facebook if you, if you really want a more private chat, then put it on Twitter. I'll get a DM on Twitter. Um, it's David Yichia as well. I'll put, I'll put all the information below. Hit the subscribe and thanks for watching, guys.